Hey humans, Coach Nate here with another mindful focus. In this post, it reads, As we grow older and wiser, we begin to realize what we need and what we need to leave behind. Sometimes there are things in our lives that aren't meant to stay. Sometimes the things, sometimes the changes we don't want are the changes we need to grow. And sometimes walking away is a step forward. Experience, we, we, we know, teaches us what really matters if we are attuned to and listening to it. If we, if we really pay attention to what messages are, are we receiving from the events, from the occurrences, from the experiences of our lives. What we know is little in this life is permanent, is forever. We are not immortal. Things um, don't last forever, not even this life. Things that even, this is irrespective of if we, even if we want them to do, to, we want them to remain, we want them to stay, we can want all we want, but that's not going to, to make the temporal permanent. Um, the, the path to our growth as we progress forward, uh, our, into our ideal self, the, the one that we that we want to be, um, is on the other side of the valley, the storm, uh, the mountain that is in front of us. It may be hard. It is going to be challenging, difficult, even painful. Go anyway. Venture through the storm, through the valley, over the mountain, that is where your ideal, better self lives, resides. And that's where you can meet up with the person that you, you want to be. It's, it's through. And in that process, we're going to shed things. What we know is comfort breeds complacency. In, in other words, complacency can, can be, especially if it's not very... If it doesn't serve us, uh, complacency, com- complacency can be a, a rut. And what is a rut? A rut is a grave with no ends. It's a perpetual place of just staying and sticking and, and, and being. Yes, it hurts when things we thought would, that would last dissipate. When things we thought we would always, that it would always be with us are no longer for whatever reason, that that's um, the, the the reason it's not here is almost less relevant than the absence of that thing, place, or even people that we had hoped would remain in our lives with us, near us. And some things that we hold on to for longer than we should, uh, jobs, relationships. Um, interactions, unhealthy, toxic relationships, habits. There's a long list of things, things that do not serve us, but we're comfortable with them. We can relate to them, and there we become. We can become comfortable in misery, and simply because we have comfort does not mean that that is good for us. That serves us. That that helps us in our our well being. And actually, it hurts us. It begins to deteriorate. Just because a, a, a virus uh, makes itself at home within my immune system does not mean that's a good thing. So in, in terms of the, the how on the let go, uh, live now, when, the first is to help us to endure through these challenges of things that are going to come and go in our life, is, which presents a challenge, is to embrace the challenge like we chose it. To resist is requiring us to expend energy and focus 
And those are two things that we need to, to get through this. If we carry the weight of the baggage of I don't want to go through this with us while we're trying to go through this, we're focusing and dedicating and losing valuable energy in what we don't want, holding on to something that if I'm, if I'm climbing the, up, the, the mountain, I'm not going to bring the supplies that I need when I come back. I'm going to leave those in a lower elevation. I'll, I'll get back to them if I don't need them up there or if I don't need them at all. Uh, the other, uh, and the let go live now win, is to approach life as a changing, evolving journey instead of a stagnant, fixed destination. Life is an evolution of experiences as we go on. We may have in our, our minds that we want it to be exactly this precise way. We may find along the way that there's another path or an, a, a modification or a refinement or an alteration or where we thought we were gro- going is it, very bad for us. If, if, I'm, if I'm planning a road trip, and I've plotted out the course, and this is the way I'm going to go, and this is the, 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 the quickest, most ex- expedient and efficient way to go, and then I encounter a storm along the way, and it has a tornado, I'm changing routes. It's not worth risking my health and well-being to continue down and barreling down what I want when it, it, there's something unexpected that was there. I'll get to my destination. I'll get to where I'm going, that temporary destination. I'll journey a a different way. And I'll embrace that. And instead of complaining along the way, I'll look for what other experiences. What what did I gain from this detour? What did I gain from not going that way or or, or losing time? What did I pick up in the the, the shifting towards the positive? Which, Which really, in the last piece is, if it's gone let it go. If it needs to go, let it go. If it hurts, experience, acknowledge, don't resist, allow yourself to feel that pain and it's going to hurt and it's going to hurt and continue to hurt until it doesn't and then when it doesn't, let it go. If it's blocking your growth, let it go. We have a tendency to hold on to things that block our ability to move forward, to grow in life. And sometimes that growth comes through being courageous enough to let go of that that does not serve us so that we can receive and embrace that which helps us to grow to being the people, the individuals, the humans, the peaceful and having our well-being humans, the place that we want to be, the existence of where we want to be. We, we, we often have this misnomer that in order to gain something we have to get and receive and in many respects it works in the opposite we can gain by losing we can gain by letting go just sharing some insights with you it's up to you to see if this fits for you you can try it or you can toss it both of those answers can in fact be correct and true which one only you can make that determination for yourself if this resonates with you feel free to give a like and a follow so you know when i post additional content like this if you feel somebody that can benefit from this feel free to share it with them and always remember let go live now and win.